What's up guys, CB Modi here back with another video and today we're continuing our gaming on series with whether or not gaming on a laptop drive versus your standard desktop drive gives you any different performance. And a lot of us when building budget and entry level systems or even just our first desktop PCs like to pull our old laptop drives to reuse again as either Steam drives or even just the OS drive as usually those laptops are already preloaded with Windows and hey we can save a couple hundred dollars by not buying a new drive and also to not buying a new copy of Windows. So there's actually a lot of benefit of using a laptop drive and definitely myself and a lot of other people do this where they just pull the old drive out. But are we losing out in any performance in games when we're using this smaller two and a half inch drive out of our old computers? Though with that being said, there's also to a number of T1 manufacturers, so your Dell, HP, and your sort of big well-known brand companies are actually putting these smaller two and a half inch drives in their all-in-one computers, thin and light clients, and small desktop top system so there must be something out there that not exactly we all know as to why they're putting in the smaller drives sure they're smaller and can fit in thinner form factors which is why they're found in all-in-one and smaller devices but maybe we're not exactly losing out as much performance as a lot of people may think. So with that being said, let's take a look at the drives we'll be testing today. And for today, we lined up desktop drives and laptop drives from the WD Blue, WD Black, and also to the Seagate Barracuda lineup. And I grabbed these drives mainly because they represent some of the most popular drives on the market. Sure, there's lots of other drives like Toshiba drives, HGST, Samsung mechanical drives, even there's a lot of other options out there, but WD Black, WD Blue, and also to Seagate Barracuda drives are some of your most popular drives that people put in their gaming system. So I thought, why not grab them for our particular test today? And taking a look at a closer look at the actual drives that we did pick up, we grabbed ourselves one terabyte drives across the board as both laptop drives and desktop drives easily are found in one terabyte options. And in terms of our options, we had the WD Blue desktop drive at 7200 RPM and the laptop option at 5400 RPM. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to 7200 RPMs and also do 7200 RPM is popular on the desktop side and 5400 is popular on the laptop side. In terms of WD Black, once again, we got ourselves a one terabyte drive, but this time both of them being the laptop and also two desktop drives came in at 7200 RPM. So that's a little bit more evened up there. And then also too, on the Seagate side, we grabbed ourselves a one terabyte Seagate drive running at 5400 RPM on our laptop option and 7200 on our desktop option, much like our WD Blue drive. Now this is definitely where things get a little bit more interesting and actually adds some strength to the idea that, well, laptop drives are slower because they're spinning at a slower speed, meaning, well, the performance must be slower. But lucky enough, we did throw in the WD Black so we can actually see if they're at exactly the same speed, will there be any performance difference? So with that being said, let's go ahead and start off some of our tests. Synthetics Wise showed the obvious results with the slower RPM drives coming in at obviously a slower speed. However, the thing that I personally wasn't expecting was the WD Black results. The Blacks, even though they were at the same RPM, the smaller drive did come in with a lower speed. Now there probably is something else under the hood that is making these changes, but the smaller drives seem to be consistently slower across the board, whether they were the same speed in terms of RPM or they weren't at all. So in terms of synthetics, they were a little bit all over the place and for the most part, we could definitely see that desktop drives were faster, but laptop drives were always slower. Jumping into games, I did start with an FPS and stutter test and found that there was no stutter lag or any FPS increases or decreases between the different drives, which is what we should expect as games don't really get affected that much by storage, but I also too did a bunch of load time tests in games and also to just loading up the games themselves and I found even though there was a large difference in synthetics in the real world that really only translated to even just one or two seconds of actual differences. Sure there was a little bit of a difference but at the end of the day if I didn't have my stopwatch out actually timing them I probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Jumping into office applications the actual difference between laptop drives and desktop drives were even smaller. Loading things like Microsoft applications Photoshop and Premiere and that kind of stuff. Sure, in the Pro apps there's a little bit more of a delay, but overall, whether you're looking at a desktop drive or laptop drives in my particular test that I did run here today, I found in the real world there wasn't exactly as much of a difference as what we saw over on the synthetic side. Once again, whilst I was setting up all these tests, whether they'll be the office tasks or the gaming tasks, I actually found it really hard to even tell the difference between the two different drives. In fact, at one point, I switched out the drives and while Steam was copying its files over, I went off and had lunch and 
and came back actually three or four hours later because I got caught up doing other stuff, completely forgot what driver had in the system and was just moving around with it, and I honestly could not remember which drive I put in there, what the specs were on it, or even whether it was desktop or laptop, and I couldn't even feel the difference when actually using the system. Now, obviously some people are going to be a little bit more sensitive to this kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, for most tasks, it's really not half that bad here. So with that being said, if the performance isn't too bad in the real world and synthetics do show a difference, although they're not really that reflected in the real world, where on earth does this idea come from of laptop drives not performing as well as their desktop counterparts? And it's actually fairly simple here, and that is because of all old software and poor optimization. So a lot of people when they throw in their laptop drive already loaded with Windows and their games, a lot of the time we just connect the SATA ports, put it in our system, and then we're basically done at that. Not a lot of us reformat that drive or get it all going again, new and fresh. We kind of just throw it in and continue where we were going from. In today's test, however, all the drives were newly formatted, installed newly with a new operating system being Windows 10, and all of which were basically running new and up-to-date versions. We weren't pulling a drive straight out of a laptop with a bunch of drivers, a whole bunch of temp files and just junk floating around on the computer. Everything was clean and fairly new as what you would expect when you are testing hard drives. So with that being said, if you're pulling a laptop drive out of a laptop that's kind of been running slow, it's full of junk files, you've got a whole bunch of apps running in the background, you are going to be seeing a lot worse performance. And if you want to know more about performance over time and how actually filling a drive with poorly optimized code and applications can slow down a drive, check that video out right there as we actually went quite into detail about it and it's interesting to see just how much performance you lose when you have a full and junked up drive. So if your drive is full or semi-full or even just full of weird background processes and stuff, your gaming performance will actually suffer, not necessarily because of the hardware problem, but more because of the fact that the software just is not running great at all. So TLDR of this video, does a laptop drive perform less than a desktop drive in games? Yes, but it is very, very marginally. In synthetics, it's definitely a lot more obvious and you can definitely see the difference. However, when we jump into real world gaming applications and also to into just real world office tasks, it's very, very hard to actually tell the difference between the two if you don't have a stopwatch running. Sure, if you start timing things, you're going to start seeing a couple seconds here and there, but at the end of the day, if you're just using your computer as is every single day, you're not really going to notice that much of a difference. The biggest difference, however, between a laptop drive and a desktop drive is how long each drive has been running. If you've been running a laptop drive for the past three, four, even five years, and you've just upgraded to a new computer, and all you've done is plug it into your desktop and boot it up and everything's all good to go with all your software on there and basically everything running as it was, that can be one of the worst situations to put your computer in, as you can have a whole bunch of background tasks running, you can have some weird code optimizations, weird drivers from previous installs, and just a whole bunch of rubbish that you don't necessarily need on your computer. If both the laptop and the desktop drives were formatted at exactly the same time with both clean versions of Windows installed on there, you're not going to be seeing too much of a difference. However, again, if you are loading up of an old version, you're definitely going to be seeing worse performance, again, not because of the actual hardware's problem, but mainly because of a software issue. So games definitely are better on a desktop drive, but really not by that much. Honestly, if it comes down to saving a few dollars here and there, I recommend wiping that laptop drive if you are going to be taking it out of a laptop and reformatting it and going through all those processes rather than just throwing it in, and you'll be seeing a lot better performance. But otherwise, guys, let me know down in that comment sections, do you run a desktop drive or a laptop drive, or do you run both in your desktop drive? build. Otherwise guys, thanks all for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.